So let's kind of move into at least this and, and a description. So we're trying to find the displacement in the first three seconds. So again, guys, you know, if we just look at this. Now again, it does say that the particle is moving horizontally. So we're going to want to be talking about going something left and right, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, let's first pretend here at x of 0, where, where are we figuring out? So when time is 0, where are we at? Well, what happens when I plug in 0? I'm at 3, right? Okay, And then basically what we say is we could say, you know, here's, that's where you're at at x of 0. So x of 0 equals 3. And what we want to do is how far have you traveled? It doesn't matter if you're going left, right, bouncing off the walls. Where are you at um, when we've gone at x of 3? Like, where are you at at x of 3? And x of 3, 0. You plug in 0. So when you want to find the displacement, we're trying to see. You're going to basically, all you're doing is taking your final position, x of 3, minus your initial position, x of 0. So therefore, in this case, we have 0 minus 3, which equals negative 3. Now, is that really negative 3? <laughs> no, no, that's total distance traveled. Guys, do we have units in this problem? Do we have units in this problem? Yeah. That's negative 3 feet. Right? So be careful. When you see a problem and units is now introduced as units, you got to start making sure you're talking about units. You can't just like talk about negative 3. That makes no sense in the context of the problem. The next thing is what does this mean? So what does negative 3 feet mean in the context of displacement as well as the context of a horizontal moving particle? Anybody want to try? Yeah, man, can you try? But yeah. Right. And, but the one thing I'd make sure you say is displacement. Remember, displacement is like the, the net change from where you started. So what I would say is uh, first three seconds, explain explaining. The particle. moved three feet to the left from its starting position. Because we don't really know, um, or we could say from a starting uh, position here is at three, right? And then you could say on the interval, zero, which is less than t, uh, less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to 3. And then add in seconds. That would be the most descriptive, including that interval on there, because that's really what you're talking about. You're saying, on this interval, the displacement, the particle moved 3 feet to the left, because that's negative on that interval. So that would kind of be like the most way to describe what was happening.